I don't know if you guys are big cedar fans like me, but mm, it smells nice. Now, I don't remember if if I told you guys or, or it's maybe been back in several videos, but all of this cedar siding, this is Western cedar siding, all of this was in my dad's old red barn. We built a house just to flip, just to sell back in like 2008. And so we did that house in Western cedar siding and dad had quite a bit of it left over. And so whenever we was tearing the barn down, he said, hey, use it if you want to. Or, if not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I thought, okay, let's use it. Which came out to be a big blessing because there's a lot of it. I mean, we're almost gonna do the entire house and then we'll just have to order uh, enough for that and enough for the front. Western cedar siding is expensive. You remember what they said? About $2 a foot. $2 average. a foot. A linear foot or square foot? Average. Is that a square foot? Yeah. Yeah, $2. A square foot i don't know what we're going to have left in square footage maybe four to five hundred so it may be an extra eight hundred to a thousand dollars is might be what i have to buy so it's not cheap stuff so it was a big blessing that this was in my dad's barn and he just let me have it and it didn't cost me a dime for this you cannot complain with free So we just finished up with the cedar siding on this side. This is underneath the porch. I don't know if you guys are big cedar fans like me, but mm, it smells nice. It smells very nice. And so now we're gonna hit the front part. And we put up some tar paper just as an added extra moisture barrier. Because uh, the overhang, you can see it up there, it's four feet. So it's still gonna get some weather over here on this side. So that zip board, is designed to be weather resistant, but this is just another added precaution. Something else we do, obviously, is go through around the window and uh, kind of vapor lock it, basically, uh, airtight. You know, we cover up the little holes where you're supposed to nail. And then we also put a, a bead of caulk all the way down the edge of the seam, which we haven't done that one yet, but we have done, have done it there, you can see. Windows are really expensive. It was one of the things that kind of uh, took our budget up a little bit because I wasn't quite expecting windows to cost as much as they did. However, we do have a lot of windows, especially the big three by sixes on the front. So obviously it just costs a little more because of those. Now, if you're just building a normal, maybe a cabin that just has a normal three by four windows that are single hung, some window companies offer like a white, a clay, and then maybe like a tan color that you can get at no extra cost. Now, if you want red or bronze or any specialty colors, then that's where your price really goes up. So I was originally thinking bronze, but every place I priced them at with the windows and the number of windows that we needed and the size of windows that we needed, it was like over $6,000. This is clay and I like the way it looks. I wasn't quite sure how it would look in that color once we got the siding on there, but it looks really good and I'm very pleased with it. So anyway, now we're gonna start on the front. Jerry's already cutting. Let's go. We got three-fourths of the front done. We still got to do the very top, which will require some scaffolding, which now we've brought inside the house because we're going to be putting up a very first light fixture. Now, this is something that Lane had picked out. We really struggled with trying to find the right light fixture that would go 
in our big loft area. And Lane had seen these ideas where you have these lights just hanging down. Eight to ten of these lights that just hang down and you can set them to different lengths. It came with light bulbs, the old fashioned ones, but we can't use them because they're incandescent. So we have to get LED old fashioned light bulbs. I really wish you could buy the fixture without the lights and then you can pick out what lights you want. Because I mean, that's the thing, most people anymore want LEDs. But they give you these incandescent light bulbs. Who's gonna sleep this up, Barry? Getting styrofoam. Oh, all that one. It's a range light fixture. He's responsible. He's responsible. He's a responsible person. If something goes wrong, he's responsible. Finally. So even though we're off grid, we're using you know batteries and an inverter, everything's gonna be wired for 110. So we're not doing any 12 volt lights, fixtures, uh, appliances, anything like that. Never seen one like that? Yeah. You just let them hang down. <laughs> Gotta have a ward on you and you know, figure out how to put this thing up. They're probably already pre-wired at all oh, at a I certain length. Just all we gotta do is screw that base plate up. Oh, there we go. But your wires, you, you want them hanging at different lengths. I don't know. Uh, well, must tie a knot in them or something. I guess if that. Are they already done? Well, that's what I don't know. We'll have to see once we get it up there. They're all the same, ain't they? Yeah, I see all those. Three. They're all the same length. Will they even? I don't know, Michael. I, don't know. I just think you just pull that up yeah, in there so and coil just... them up there and adjust them however you want to. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> tighten that nut back down. Yeah. So this just unscrews, and then we can pull them up and then lay them down in here, right? I think, you, I think you'll doing? figure it out. <laughs> Got confidence in you. All right. What's really crazy is, I mean, I'm looking at this thing and it's just a bunch of wires. It's, you know, they gave us a bunch of light bulbs. There's nothing fancy about this thing. And yet, it's 120 bucks. Yeah. And buy a lot of wire for that. Yeah. Jerry's holding it up along with the pitch of the That's roof. That's alright. Trying like to see. Moses. Aaron holding up Moses' arms. Yeah. Some of them are already a little short, but I'm going to shorten some other ones just to get the right, well, I don't know if there is a right height, but it's just something I think Elaine would like. Take it hard on Jerry. You just took it down. Alright, so we got job security. <laughs> we got all kinds of different lengths. As you can tell, one long and then it kind of, but I think it's going to look good. And then we can put the bulbs in. They've got different lengths too. There's some long ones, some short fat ones. So Earthquake indicator. Yeah. Yeah, if there's an earthquake, you know, those things will be swinging. All right, let's hang her up. Yeah, this is a two-man light fixture, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Remember which one of those? You know, I don't mind heights whenever there's stability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever it's like that, then I'm just like, oh, okay. I can deal without that. <laughs> oh, look at me! Yeah. Looky there, looky there. I guess that's it. That's all it's holding just that put thing one up. bulb in there and go down there and we'll. We've got light. Jerry just cranked the generator on. I couldn't get to my camera in time. They're pretty bulbs. I like the old fashioned look to them. I do too. We didn't actually finish the front today. Uh, we put a few more pieces. You can see up there at the very top, we put a few more. We put a few more in the middle. But what we're doing now is we're coming over to this far side and we're going to start doing this over here. Now the reason we didn't finish that up and we're jumping to this is because of the cedar that we've got. This is a darker colored cedar. Now the reason why it's darker is because this is old growth cedar versus the lighter colored stuff on the front is new growth cedar. 
So we're gonna put the old growth on this side and have it all being the same darker color. Cause I'll show you what it looks like whenever you kind of mix and match them. So this is our porch area. And you can see here, we did a couple of the darker cedar. In a small area like that, that's fine. The rest of this is gonna age and it's gonna be darker. It'll get darker, maybe not quite as dark as those, but I didn't really wanna do that on the front. So the, the browner stuff, the old growth cedar, we don't have enough to complete that whole side. So we have to order more anyway. So when we order more, it's gonna come like this in this newer growth. And that's what we'll use up on the top to keep all this the same color. What we have here, I would say would probably go a third of the way up. Maybe, yeah, I'd say a third. And then we'll just have to order uh, enough for that and enough for the front. So it does not matter to me that I've got a light colored and a dark colored because it's free. Jerry's putting up some tar paper now. But this is just, again, extra added moisture barrier. Also, because we didn't tape the joints there. So this is just gonna cover those joints up and uh, we'll get this stuff put on. Man. No, just, just the fact that you're writing it on our preacher stick, I think. <laughs> Gotta keep it right, boy. Gotta be right. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out what we got left here. What'd you come up with? 218. 218? That looks about 224. Right? 224? That looks yeah. about like 224 square feet. What's that? That's 20 by 2. 280 square feet? Yeah, we'll call oh, right. that, that ain't bad at all, is it? Yeah. I feel like I hit the gold mine on this stuff. Yeah. Only have to buy 280 square feet left. So one of the little tools I wanted to show you guys, Jerry calls it the preacher stick. Keeps you true and straight. Anyway, so whenever we are putting up the new batch from the old batch, there's six and a half inches, which is what the gap is supposed to be. And so put it like that. You put up your new piece once you've got it in the correct position, then you just nail it. And then, and then so I'll do my end while Jerry does his end. I'll nail mine, go down to his end, nail his, and then I'll just go through and make sure I hit the studs on each one of these. But it's really cool. Jerry's the best. Oh, oh, oh. 